With today's update, a new piece of content has been added to Old School RuneScape in the form of a fishing boss known as Temporos. This new boss will be similar to the boss that is used to train fire making known as Winter Todd, and it also comes with a nice heap of rewards. It is important to note that you need 35 fishing in order to participate in this activity. And of course, the higher your fishing level, the more XP per hour you can expect. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as for the gear setup, you want to bring your angler's outfit if you have it for the extra XP, and if not, then Graceful will help out as well. Along with that, you want to make sure that you bring a harpoon of some kind. In this case, I'll be bringing my dragon harpoon, but if you do want to bring your crystal harpoon, make sure you bring the elven signet to save on some charges. Now as for the inventory, the wiki does suggest bringing an admiral pie so you can get a plus 5 fishing boost. This will allow you to boost your XP per hour. The other items that you need are 3 buckets of water and a rope. These last two items can be obtained during the boss fight. Now as for the location for this new content, a new place has been added on the map in the desert region known as the Ruins of Unka, if I'm saying that correctly. This place can be found south of the quarry. Now from the ruins you can make your way onto the spirit port and board the boat. After some time the boat will take off and the fight will begin. Now you can start off by grabbing the rope and buckets located nearby and you can fill them up at the pump that is also nearby. You can also grab a hammer from one of the crates that is located nearby as well. After grabbing these items, you can head down off of the boat and start fishing for the harpoon fish. This is what you'll be using to damage the boss. You can also choose to cook the fish before launching it directly at the boss. This is similar to fletching at Winter Todd, so instead of why fletch, now it is why cook. Now the goal of this encounter is to lower the energy down to 0% and you want to make sure that you do this before the storm intensity gets to 100%. If it reaches 100, that is game over. Now Temporos does have a few attacks that he'll be using while you are catching the fish and attacking him. Now one of these attacks is a wave attack. Now in order to survive this, you will want to tether yourself next to the totem. This is what the rope is used for. Another attack that Temporos can use is he can summon these lightning clouds that will strike the ground. So if you see these, you want to move out of the way. You don't want to be under these and after they strike, they will leave behind a fire. You can use the bucket of water to put out the fire, and this will stop it from spreading, and also you don't want to step onto the fire because you will lose some fish, and I believe a tool as well. Now, after you've gathered enough fish, you can bring it back to the boat and start launching it at Temporos. Now, keep in mind that the mast or the totems can be broken, and that the hammer will be able to fix them in case another wave comes. Temporos also has another attack where he can directly hit the cannon and it will disable it for a short amount of time. You want to make sure that you're not close to the cannon when this happens because the electricity can actually transfer over to you and stun you as well. Now once Temporos's energy is reduced to 0%, the second phase will begin and you can start harming the essence portion of the health bar directly. You'll want to head over to the spirit pools and start fishing from them to start damaging the essence. And once the essence hits 0%, that is the end of the encounter, and you can claim your rewards. Now they've implemented quite an interesting way to obtain your rewards. First you'll want to grab a net from this box over here, and then you'll want to use it on the reward pool. There's a bunch of different noted items that you can receive, along with some new uniques that have been added with the addition of this boss. Some of these new rewards are the spirit flakes, the fish barrel, tackle box, large harpoon fish, and the tome of water, as well as the new outfit. So overall, I'd say its activity is very, very nice. It definitely mixes it up and it's different from your traditional fishing. I might stay here for a good while and rack up all of the rewards and then make a video where I just, of course, fish from the reward pool and see what kind of stuff we can get. Don't really know how many completions I'm going to do of Temporos, but I feel like this is a pretty enjoyable boss and something that I can chill with on mobile. I just want to say thanks for checking out this video and I really hope that you found it helpful and enjoyable and remember to hit that like button if you did like it after all and maybe even subscribe. And as always I will catch you guys in the next episode.